So the shop's coming along. Today I am going to start running all of the wire to get the lights up. There's going to be a few different various kinds of lights being ran through here. A couple shop lights and then a couple of lights that hang from a box on a cord. And they will all be LED so it should save some money as far as electricity. And it should be plenty bright enough to illuminate the whole shop. Okay, first things first, we have to get wire um, up to this back rafter. And this is all going to, since they're LED lights, they're all going to run on one breaker inside the fuse box or the breaker box or whatever. So I need to run up that, that uh, rafter right there. But they're going to come down here through the wall studs and then go up through the plate in the wall. <clears throat> There's already a bit of wire ran right here that we will go ahead and use. It runs down into this switch and then the switch runs into the breaker in the house. That's going to all be changed um, for all of the electricity to the shop because there will be a um, a box here that will have all the breakers in it and everything will be ran out of that and distributed how it should be. So since this wire is already ran and it'll be a good, be a good way I can test out the lights, I'm going to go ahead and start running the wire up that um, up that rafter and run it to where it will meet but I don't want to obviously cut it yet until the um, it has no electricity running to it so we'll get that far I'll show you all that and then uh, we'll cut the power probably won't be able to film that because it'll be dark in here and then I'll hook it up and we can test out the lights Okay, so here's what we got so far. We got the, the end light, which is, well, the wiring will end there for that string. Um, that will get a light, that will get a light. Runs down this joist, or <laughs> this uh, rafter. And then it'll run down this plate. Back to the box that will be over there. Um, probably will run a junction box somewhere in there and somewhere in there to split off of. Um, probably not the best way to run it, but it saves on wire a little bit. So, all should be good. I'm going to go over here and start wiring up these plates that go on these boxes that the lights hang from. Okay, so here's basically what we have with these plates and cords and sockets. These are crap wire because they were in a over a hundred year old building. Um, granted, these is, this is new, newer wiring, but still they're really old. Um, but basically this hangs from the plate. There's a gasket in here, or a grommet maybe? I guess you call it a grommet. And this screws into it to hold it to the, hold it to the plate. And same thing on the socket. There is a grommet inside there that is tightened down to hold that wire. And that's what holds, you know, the weight. Um, basically I need to take these apart. Um, completely and pull the wire out of this and the wire out of this and then wire them together with a length of um, wire. Now, um, I'm not an electrician so I'm not going to show you how to do that. I do know how to do it but um, just for liability reasons I'm not going to do it. 
Um, but here is here is one of the plates torn apart. And again, this will go in um, just like this. The wire runs through that grommet. And then this tightens down on it. And that's what holds it from the ceiling. And then here is one with wire ran through it already. And that runs into this little itty bitty plate. Again, that grommet holds. This tightens. And that's what holds it at the, the other end. And then this, it gets wired in here inside the ceramic um, socket housing. And then this goes back on it and gets screwed to that through there. There's two tiny um, flathead screws that then that goes back together. Um, I've already wired I've already wired one up and there it is with the new um, cable or uh, line. I broke the I broke the stupid cardboard gasket in there. But I needed uh, two feet for Two foot length for two of them, and then the middle one that hangs from the peak um, was three foot. That way they would hang close to the same height. So I'm going to wire the rest of these up, and then we'll hook them up, up inside the, the boxes, and eventually get around to testing them out. I threw power to it just to test them out and make sure that set of three was wired correctly. And we have light. LED lights, they have a plastic outer casing. So if I bump into them with any wood or anything when I'm putting them up there in the landing, um, it will not bust. I've dropped these on the floor a couple times and they still don't bust and they still work. So um Seems to be a good choice if anyone is looking to light their shop. These LED bulbs are great. I think they're 5,000 or 4,000 K. Not sure exactly what that means, but if that's what you're looking for, they're daylight. The color is daylight or whatever, or the hue or whatever you want to call it. So that's it. I hope it was helpful or interesting to all of you. Um, and I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form, but... We're getting closer. Shop's getting closer. Thanks for watching, guys.